this slide it shows you actually the entire process of this absorption costing method so let me repeat it again that you've got total production cost which consists of direct and indirect cost indirect cost means overheads direct cost you straight charge to the product but indirect cost you need to uh, go through three steps you allocate and apportion then you reapportion and then you absorb so i have to speak a lot on this thing so please do not get scared uh, let me move forward and as I will move forward and I will give more explanation this entire process will become very understandable uh, I'll start with a simple very simple example uh, first I'll give you some simple example then we will go move on to one complex example so let me first give you a general picture so very basic example let's suppose that you have a fixed production overhead per year and you estimate that overhead at the beginning of the year so you need to understand that when you start year let's suppose any year year 2018 or 2017 at the beginning of the year you estimate that how much are going to be your fixed overhead so and i'm talking about production fixed overhead so let's suppose that you have a depreciation for your factory which is two thousand dollars you've got rent which is two thousand dollar you've got insurance which is one thousand dollars so you pay five thousand dollar you estimate that these are going to be your fixed overhead for the next one year so now this is five thousand dollar is fixed overhead which you will pay for the entire activity uh, it is not related to any one unit of output it is for the total output so we manufacture let's suppose we manufacture tables so we have to calculate that how much of this five thousand one dollar or two dollars or ten dollars how much of this five thousand we should add into the cost of making one table so let's suppose that your production is one thousand tables and this is also your estimate at the beginning of the year so now the things are coming clear that i'm going to spend five thousand dollars in terms of fixed overhead for the next year and after spending five thousand dollar i will make one thousand table these both are my estimates so i can say that in each table it is five thousand dollar divided by one thousand table so it means that dollar five per table is my overhead so when i will calculate my cost of making one table i will add direct materials direct labor and then i will also add five dollar that direct material and direct labor are direct cost those are measurable but this five dollar it is just an estimate because these both numbers I take as estimates so what I do that when I will make my job cost card for making a table I will add five dollar in each table as the cost of overheads and this you call it OAR which is called overhead absorption rate and here you come to the term absorption costing method actually what does the word absorb means absorb means that you add overhead into your cost based on some estimate so absorbing means adding it based on some estimate and oar formula is budgeted overheads so i'm using the word budgeted budgeted means that you estimate at the beginning of the year so budgeted overheads divided by the budgeted activity so five thousand dollar divided by one thousand table and i get five dollar per table now overheads we understand what is activity activity means what is your output in this particular case I assume that 1000 table is my output so I estimate so I say five dollar per table or you can say five dollar per unit now that's a very simplified example usually you do not calculate your output in terms of tables because in one factory you don't make one product you make different products you make tables you make small tables you make big tables you make doors you make windows so when you make different type of products then you cannot calculate five dollar per table because there is not one table there are many different types of table and there are some other products as well so what do we do then so let me show you how it works for example this is your same overhead and this time I said production is not 1000 table but I said my estimated production is 2000 machine hours it means that I will spend five thousand dollars and after spending five thousand dollars I would get two thousand machine hours of work so we calculate overhead based on machine hours so now we say that we've got five thousand dollar for two thousand hours so it means that two point five dollar per hour is my overhead so my overhead is not related to table anymore it is related to hourly rate so when you make a small table 
let's suppose it takes two hours to complete so you charge overhead overhead absorbed is five dollar which means two hours multiplied by 2.5 hours so when you make costing for a small table you will add five dollars when you make a big table so the bigger table it takes five hours to complete so if you take five hours then five multiplied by 2.5 you make it 12.5 dollars in each table let's suppose you make a chair and the chair takes one hour for completion so then in the cost of chair because it takes one hour you will add only 2.5 dollars so usually we do not calculate oar overhead absorption rate based on units we calculate it based on machine hours we calculate based on labor hours you calculate based on square meters etc conclusion so now let's make okay it's not the conclusion of the chapter i have to still go a long long way it's a very long chapter but let's whatever we have done so far let's make a conclusion so it says that absorbed overheads are also called recovered overheads so absorbed overhead means the overheads which i already have added into my production and i have already taken this money from my client because when i made my cost i said 20 dollars of material wood 10 dollars of labor five dollars for my overhead it made my cost 35 plus i added 15 dollar my profit and i sold my table for 50 dollars so when i sold my table for 50 dollars i got my profit of 15 15 dollars i got my material labor and i also took five dollar from my customer for overheads so absorbed overheads or recovered overheads these are the overheads which you have added into the your production and you have taken it from the client so this is the amount we are recovering from our clients based on our estimate. So it's not the $5 is not my actual expense. It is my budgeted expense. It is my estimated expense. I think that I believe that on each table I am spending $5. So that is recovered or absorbed overhead. So with one hand we are collecting overhead cost from client based on estimate. So every time I sell a small table, I collect from my client $5. I sell a bigger table, I collect $10 from my client. So it means that every time I sell some product, I am collecting some overhead with one hand. So on one hand, I am collecting my overheads. And on the other hand, I am paying my actual overhead. I am paying my rent, I am paying my insurance. So there are two things going on. One is the actual overhead, which I am spending in reality. And the other one is which I am collecting from my client based on my estimate. So we have got budgeted overheads budgeted overheads are those which is your estimate at the beginning of the year because let's suppose five thousand dollar was your budgeted overhead this was the overhead which you thought which you believe at the beginning of the year that this is going to be your expense so that is called budgeted overhead recovered overheads these are those ones which i have already collected from my clients during the year like i said here absorbed overheads recovered overheads i have received from my client and actual overheads is something which I've actually spent because what I'm spending is different or it could be different than my budget or it could be different than my recovered. So these three words you need to understand very clearly. These three things are different. When we will do questions, it will be very important to understand this. Absorption costing method. So total production cost, I will repeat it again. So you understood the basic scenario. Now let move, let's move on to a, a little bit of a complex scenario. What does that mean reapportion? So this actually, which I showed you here, here I believed that, uh, you know, in this example, I just said that $5,000 is the total overhead. We did not talk about department one, department two, how to divide this 5,000. We just calculate total overheads and we just calculated machine hours. We assume that there is only one department. We assume that this overhead is just for one particular department. But in reality, the situation would be that this 5,000 is the total overhead, but it belongs to two or three different departments. So you have to allocate it, apportion it to different departments. Let me show you how we do it, how we do it. Let me show you. So you've got this thing. You have 
your five thousand dollar overhead here you split your five thousand overhead probably two thousand here two thousand here one thousand here or maybe any other so first you allocate and a portion then i told you that this service department it does not produce anything it just gives services to production one and production two so therefore i will not leave any overhead here first i will give overhead to the service department and after i will reapportion reapportion and charge this service overhead back to these two departments so that here overhead becomes zero whatever overhead is given to this department in the next stage in reapportionment we transfer it back to our production dip one and production two and then we calculate oar for production one and oar for production two so you've got overhead absorption rate of production one department and overhead absorption rate in production two department and then you charge it to the product which is called absorb now this what we need to understand more complex is reapportionment so let's see what is reapportionment and how we do it so to reapportion service cost centers overheads to production cost centers there are three methods now actually in your acca f2 book usually they give two methods but i will show you three methods because technically there are three methods so the first method is called direct method direct method means inter service department work is ignored which means that you charge overhead to these departments and they do not provide service to each other just like before i told you that there is a service department which provides service to you know production one and production two so you charge overheads between different departments but in direct method we say inter service department work is ignored which means that we do not believe that there is service department and we don't charge from service department to production one or production two that is a very simple method direct method is the simplest of all second is called step method step method means that one service department is providing service to the other but the other one is not what does that mean let's suppose that you have in your uh, factory you have production one and production two which is cutting and stitching and you also have two service department one is called cafeteria and one is your warehouse so cafeteria is a service department and warehouse is also a service department they are not production departments so step method we say that some inter service department work is recognized what does that mean it means that the two service departments one service department is providing service to the other but the other one is not providing which means that the the people who work in the warehouse department they go and they eat food in the cafeteria but cafeteria does not take any service from the warehouse so it means that service department cafeteria is providing service but warehouse is not providing service to cafeteria so we say that some inter service department work is recognized that service department cafeteria will charge its cost but warehouse will not charge cost because warehouse people they are not giving any service to cafeteria that is called step method and third method is called reciprocal method reciprocal method means that all inter service department work is recognized it means that the two service departments they provide service to each other like two service departments they provide service to production and also to each other for example warehouse people they go and eat food in cafeteria and then cafeteria they keep their goods in the warehouse so cafeteria is using the service of warehouse warehouse is using the service of cafeteria so in these three methods we are only talking about service department work we say that service department both service departments they provide service to each other here we say that one service department is charging service to the second one and the second one is not charging back and here we say that service departments absolutely do not charge to each other service department will only charge to production but not to each other now let me show you with the help of some numbers how we calculate that so let's suppose that you've got two production departments which is mixing and stirring and and you've got two service centers which is stores and canteen so this store is your warehouse and canteen is your cafeteria 
and then what you have got overheads these are your total overheads for mixing department 108200 39400 90800 23600 these two service department overheads we cannot leave them here we have to make them zero and ultimately this cost should be charged to mixing and stirring because these are production service department we never leave the cost because service department do not pro uh, do not produce any goods so if there is any cost left it will not be recovered from the client if you want to recover the cost from the client it must be charged to the production department so that production department add it to the final product so we are using direct method in direct method we say that service departments do not provide service to each other you don't charge them service will not like canteen will not charge to stores and stores will not charge to canteen let's see how it is done we do reapportionment of stores stores this uh, overhead 90800 reapportionment is 50 into 30 so the ratio is 5 is to 3 between two production departments so how do we do it then so this 90800 we split it we are not going to give it to canteen because we are using direct method in direct method they don't charge to each other all of this overhead will go only to these two departments you will only charge to the production departments and your ratio should be 5 is to 3 so when you charge here it means 5 divided by 8 when you charge here it means 3 divided by 8 because 5 plus 3 is 8 so the total is 8 so 5 by 8 is here and 3 by 8 is here so this 90,800 you shared between two production departments then you see reapportionment of canteen canteen overhead is reapportioned 45 to 40 between these two production departments canteen is not going to give any cost to the stores because direct method says service department do not give cost to each other all of this 23600 should be divided between these two departments in the ratio of 45 to 40 like this so now when you make a total these become these two become zero because they have already transferred their cost and your total overhead here is 177.444 and 84.556 so the total overhead which you initially allocated and apportioned to stores and canteen after apportionment this was apportionment then we did reapportion so this is reapportionment so you charge the overheads of two service department to the two production departments they didn't charge each other this is called direct method now second method which we are going to do that is called step method in step method what we say that one service department will charge cost to the other but the other one will not charge back so some part of the cost is recognized so we use the same numbers again the same numbers we are changing but now we say that the service department of stores is doing reapportionment at 50 30 and 20 which means that this 90800 five portions three portions and two portions you see previously it was only 50 30 now it is 50 30 and 20 so what will happen that this cost 9800 should be divided between three one two and this will go to the canteen department so that's how you calculate it so if you make a total of these three numbers it is 90800 but then if you pay attention now canteen only is giving to two production department here it is charging to three it is only charging to two departments because we are using step method which means one department is charging to the other other one is not charging so now canteen total cost has become 41 because canteen its own overheads were 23 but then some overhead were tra was transferred from here to here 18,000 so canteen has a total overheads of 41,760 and this 41,760 should be divided between mixing and stirring in the ratio of 45 to 40 that's how it will work so we charge this one now these two become zero and the overhead now is 175 now if you pay attention if you go back when we were doing it with direct method here the answer was 177,000 this time the answer is different but total overheads will remain same it is just that the distribution will change so these are the two methods direct method and step method now we move to the reciprocal method 
reciprocal method is a little bit long because in reciprocal both departments will charge each other so that's the most complex that's the like you know the ultimate thing so you've got the four departments production and service you've got here 108,200, 39,400, 9,800, 23,600. I'm using the same numbers. But this time what will happen? Reapportionment of stores is 50, 30, and 20. So it was just like before we did it in the previous slide. 50, 30, and 20. But the difference is here that this time what is going to happen that this canteen department which you call maintenance i just wrote it here it was actually canteen now it was charging 45 40 and 15 previously it was only giving to two departments now it means that this canteen overheads you have to charge to stores and stirring and mixing now if you pay attention store has become zero because store has given all its cost to three departments but then from canteen some cost will come back to stores department again so store already became zero but then when you transferred from 41 this 15 percent it became 62 to 64 so some cost came to here uh, to stores department now canteen becomes zero but you've got 6000 in stores then the store department is going to charge back again now if you see that this is zero but store has 6264 and this 6264 must be divided between this one this one and this one in the ratio of 50 30 and 20 so 50, 30 and 20 I will make. So if you see that the 6264, this is I'm starting from here. The 6264 is split in the ratio of 50, 30, 20 between these three. So after splitting, this will become zero, but some overhead will appear in 1, 2, 5, 3 in canteen. So canteen which became zero, it again got some overhead from the stores department. And then the store department overhead, you again split between the three ones in the ratio of 45, 40, 15. Here canteen becomes zero. Stores again become one it become 188. Now you have to do it 188. It becomes 30. So this process will continue until it becomes zero. They are charging back each other. It will continue until it becomes zero. And here you got zero here. And your answer is 176, 203 and 85797 7. your total overheads will remain same but the individual numbers will different because in the first method it was 177 in the second method which was step it was 175 and in reciprocal we got 176 actually this is in a tabular format which i've shown you you can also do it with the help of you know by making some um, equations and I can show you the method and in fact when we will do questions I will show you that this is a little bit longer method but we will help we will use it with the uh, help of you know simultaneous equations and I will show you how to make simultaneous equation it is not difficult so actually I showed you the process but if I have to calculate an exam I would not do it with this method this is just for your understanding in uh, exam method we will use simultaneous equations and we will make those equations and within three minutes you can find the answer that would be very short method so these are the three methods which we discussed step method uh, direct method in which service departments do not charge to each other then you've got step method one department will charge the other will not and last one is reciprocal method which is the long one in which both service departments will charge each other absorb so final step is to charge these overheads to cost units this is called absorption so like now you've got your mixing department 176 stirring is 85 then you will calculate how many number of hours you worked in mixing department how many number of hours you worked in stirring department you will divide with that number of hours and you will find out one oar let's suppose three dollars per hour in mixing department two dollars per hour in stirring department so you have oar for mixing three dollar oar for stirring two dollars per hour whichever product whichever unit is using how many hours in mixing you will accordingly calculate for example one product it takes one hour in mixing and one hour in stirring so you will say three dollars from mixing and two dollars from stirring so five dollars you will give overheads